Good evening, cult members, and welcome to Pop Culture Cult. I'm Sean. I'm Janice. And this is going to be a, a trailer reaction that I don't think anybody else is going to watch, but we were really excited about, and it's, it is War of the Worlds from BBC One. Uh, th- I, I, we're going to be completely honest and say we've already um, seen some stuff about this already. Yes. Uh, it is a, uh, they're taking um, Orson Welles original story that happened in the 50s and they're putting it in victorian london yep and uh if you have followed us for a little bit we spent some time in the uk in october and uh we're chomping the bit to go back (laughs) especially on this side of the (laughs) the camera and uh but uh the idea of doing um aliens victorian london invasion like that like completely has our attention so yeah we're... and i'm interested to see um kind of how that's gonna work right because technology but victorian area so right i'm interested right. to see how that's gonna work um spoilers for how that movie ends they all get the cold so i'm interested in how that's gonna all work <laughs> so we ha- i have a ton of questions already but <laughs> here we go here's our trailer reaction to war of the worlds from bbc one and go We've been there. Oh, we have. The shooting star. Do you think it could be from Mars? The shooting star. Something, John. It's, it's from Mars. Mars. Of course, it's from Mars. <laughs> Something inside. Uh. It's opening. Da. Run. Run. Anyone? Right. Uh. <laughs> Nothing. Maybe you see this. Was that a... The War of the Worlds on BBC One. Oh. Yeah, the inspector from Sherlock. The inspector from Sherlock. Yeah. It's only like a quick little segment, but yeah. which is, I mean, it's, what, 30, 40 seconds or yeah. whatever. Yeah. But it's enough to kind of get us, like, super excited. Yes. A, anything from BBC, like, uh, Doctor Who, Sherlock, right. Killing Eve, <laughs> Torchwood, um... Broad Church, Broad Church, Luther, yeah. like all that stuff is going to get us super excited because let's be honest, British television is kicking American television's ass unless it's like Netflix or right. Amazon or Hulu right. or something like that. Yep. Um, definitely kind of showing the turn of the century more than Victorian era. So it's more, much more the pre World War One. Yeah. They had the Gatling gun yeah. and the, and yeah. the, the big cannon and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So it's more right before World War One, which as we said in our last trailer review, um, is, is obviously very hot right now. Right. Uh, that time right. period. Um, and yeah, so Gatling guns against, um, aliens from Mars. Okay. We'll see how that, works out i'm gonna say not very well <laughs> Pro- probably not probably not um like like i said the the original they they all catch the they cold, get a cold yeah uh, essentially is what they you know they they succumb to the viruses of yeah of the so planet, is this gonna like be that. an ongoing series or is it like a like a i think eight it's, episode i think it's a, a, a to be honest i haven't what i haven't looked up anything that's on it okay but from what i'm kind of getting from this this trailer it's like maybe a three-part or four-part series okay it's bbc so it's what they film it as it's going to be right an hour and a half long story but right. they end up putting it out in like three segments right. kind of thing so if you don't know british television usually like so sherlock and not so much doctor who but sherlock definitely they it's actually three 30 minute yeah. episodes yeah um and and then we get them in one big episode so it's actually um, like an hour 90 half. minutes yeah. uh, maybe a little short yeah. so um yeah i just i was interested because i'm not sure like there needs to be an end right we can't just there can't just be alien bug things i'm i'm ass- again i'm assuming on this that it's a um um like the um 
uh, mini series, yeah. the movie of the, the NBC yeah. movie of the month or whatever, where we get yeah, three episodes yeah, or that whatever. Yeah. I mean, that makes the most sense. And, and and with the idea of you're setting it in pre World War One, turn of the century kind of time period, uh, that's kind of a, like you were saying, a kind of a hotbed of storytelling right now. Mm-hmm. And putting this particular story in that time period with the lack of technology to really try to disseminate information while stuff is going on. Right. While the aliens are wandering through, you know, Cardiff or whatever. It's always Cardiff. I, that's why I picked Cardiff. Um, <laughs> there's a hub there. Come on. Have you watched, ever watched Doctor Who? Um, but, like, if it's Cardiff... They may not necessarily know what's going on in London or right. you know Leeds right. or York or whatever right. and stuff like that. Uh, and they're not going to have so it's going to they're going to have to come up with a different storyline as far as like in the Tom Cruise version where it was do we nuke do we not nuke because right. if you nuke then you kill off everything right. else right. around it and they don't that's not even an option now so that i think that maybe is the gatlin gun and that big cannon and stuff like that like when right we'll but try you to can counter. blow something up with a cannon or a gatlin gun and you're not gonna lay waste to everyone I love within the, a 20 mile radius I, I love the concept of having this discussion of what is proper force yeah with war with war of the world with a known entity that's trying to come and destroy right. the planet but in this instance they're not going to have that's yeah, not even yeah. going to be it, an yeah, option it's, it's going to be more like how do we actually kill this that's thing because very we don't have anything big enough to do that yeah that's very interesting like story trope and that yeah. even makes me want to watch it even more to knowing what the no knowing what the story is both in the modern version with the spielberg tom cruise version and the orson, original orson the, wells or, yeah. original orson wells one um I'm sure somebody's going to tell me that Orson Welles is not the right one. H- no, it H- is. H.G. Wells? No, it's Orson Welles. Okay, Orson Welles. He did the radio show and everybody freaked the I'm, fuck out I'm because they thought it, it was going to I'm sure the be... internet will no, tell me No, it was absolutely more. Orson Welles. Um, it was. But I like the <clears> idea <throat> of trying to come up with a solution for that outside of those known things, right? right? And and it's back to the kind of the Doctor Who kind of like what would happen if aliens showed up in Victorian era or the Roman era or right, a dinosaur or in a the- dinosaur <laughs> and like, like, like having, and that's one of the cool things that BBC has always done a really good job about is trying to take historical events and put modern spins on them and have them explain how they would have solved those problems yeah. within that pe- time period. And yeah. I think that's kind of what looks like they're, they're doing this, but it, it like it looks like it's shot in HD, so everything's like shot really well. Yep. It's not grainy, which would yep. have been really easy to do. And the aliens look f- pretty much like the ones that we see in, yeah. the, in the movie today, which is interesting. I I didn't want them to do the kind of um, you know a, more HG Wells type like gears and you know Very these steampunky steampunky kinda, yeah. yeah I wanted and that they did make them more like what we saw in the Tom Cruise movie yeah so. and, and I love the like um, is it from Mars because that's the time everything period like everything was from, was Mars. from Mars because they had gotten past the everything was from the moon right right well there's the and man so, on the moon the, right we, so we, we figured that all out by that t- point in time by the turn of the century everything was from Mars yeah. and so uh, like of course that's why we call them Martians nowadays is because right. everybody was from the, anything that was outside of the planet was from mars right so i love that little like kind of hint to it so i'm super excited about this she's super excited about this i'm 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 interested to see how we're going to get it here in the states on bbc america yeah probably like doctor who maybe i wonder if um it'll come on brit box first and stuff like that so well we get bbc america so it should yeah I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So let us know what you thought in the comments. Let us know what you thought about the War of the Worlds coming from BBC One. And let us know what your favorite version of War of the Worlds is. Um, is it this? Is it the original version, the radio version? Is it this version? Is it... Um, um, uh, we kind of get a War of the Worlds kind of thing with... Um, like Fallen Skies and, yeah. and District Well, they 9 did a and, 50s, 60s, after the 
radio show came out. They did yeah, an actual yeah, movie. So tell us what your favorite version of this story is. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, help us out on Patreon, share it with all your friends, do all that jazz. Um, and until next time, if we don't see you again, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> Thank you.